What's up? What's up? Hey, if y'all not yet subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. In this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the Passport Bro movement. Um, so I already been knowing about Passport Bros. It's been going on and people be talking about it on social media, on YouTube and other platforms. <sighs> My opinion opinion about Passport Bros is that you can go get your passport if dating in in America is bad, is it's not working out for you. If you can't really find nobody here, um, you know, you can go to overseas, go somewhere like Colombia, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico uh wherever and go find you a, a a woman um now if you're gonna do that i highly suggest you be careful of how you go out there and you find um women you start dating them be careful because i know some stories like one story of a guy who went to columbia and um he started he started using a tinder app in columbia he matched with this beautiful uh colombian chick nice and he took her back uh she uh he took her back to his crib in the country and next thing you know next day he got robbed and stuff because she um drugged him um while she was while they was drinking and stuff and just she took all his money everything was gone everything um i think it took like about i think she took like around fifty thousand dollars or something like that though um but it's it's you know if you want to go overseas to go find somebody just do it safely and careful guys um you know i don't i'm not like a like a whole like a whole supporter like a full supporter of the passport bro movement um I do would say this, that a lot of American women today, and not all, so don't say, oh, not all American women are bad and stuff. And No, I'm saying majority of them are. And a lot of them are not really caring about having a traditional family. They don't care about having kids and, and staying in a house and just... You know, just doing their role, you know, being nurse, taking care of the kids, making sure the house is clean, make sure everybody's straight, make sure there's a meal cooked for her husband uh, when she get home and stuff. And a lot of them out there just, you know, for themselves, they want materialistic things. They want cars. They want purses. They want all of this materialistic things, the houses, everything. And they want to be a boss lady. They want to be a boss B. I ain't going to curse. They want, they don't care. They 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 have, have naked pictures on the internet. Have naked pictures on Instagram, OnlyFans, and all of that stuff. They don't really care about having a man in their life. And not all of, and, and not all of them is going to have a, a good man in their life. Um... The expectations, the requirements of what they want from a man is, is, is ridiculous. It's it's like out of this world. Like there's no way that a lot of men is gonna be able to live up to some of these women expectations and stuff. They say they want a guy that's making hundred K or hundred and fifty K a month or two hundred K a month. That uh my bad, not a month but like a year. That's no way in wor in the world that's ever going to happen. No way. You, uh, I mean, there's a small small minority of men in this country that's making uh, over a hundred or two hundred k a year and stuff. Only a small minority, but not majority. Majority is like in the middle class range or or just on their way to making a hundred k. But it doesn't work like that. A man has to earn his value, you know, 
he has to go work for it. He has to go save money. He has to go invest. He has to go even practice semen retention or whatever like that, so he could just stay away from to the stay away from the clubs and spend excessive money on stuff like that. Um, but a man has to earn his value. A woman, if she's born with her value. She's already got her look, she got her beauty and everything. And a lot of women, they just want to, they use their own, not all women, but a lot of them want to use their own body to go make money. And it's more easier for a woman. That's why a woman has a much more easier life than the men in this world because they get more supportive. They can go and cry on social media and stuff. And they could go, you know, get people to feel sorry for them or some uh, sympathy for them and it could go start a GoFundMe account and go make money and stuff. That's, you know, that's that's what an easier life, but a man can't do that, man. Most of, uh, the way how society is pressuring man right now is man has to be tough. He, he has to provide and stuff. He has to, you know, not cry. He has to, you know, not be vulnerable and stuff like that, but that's I, I think that's real stupid. Like, um, you like it's it's crazy the way how a lot of dating and relationships in America is going. It's just going real bad and stuff. And a lot of men ain't gonna be able to, um, like I said, live up to the expectations of some of these women in this country. So, I uh, you know if you want to go overseas to go find somebody i mean that's it's 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 a good idea um but it's not going to be made for all men but it's a good idea to go um get somebody overseas if you want to and then you can build a family over there i mean there's some people over there that's already making a family have success stories over there uh being be able to find somebody and those girls over there in those countries especially like in um, in some of the poor countries, um, money is not, um, money is tight. Um, they, they don't make as much over there. So some of the girls who who have that, still have that, uh, traditional role and stuff, like just being, um, you know, being a nurse, being just taking care of the house, taking care of the family and stuff like that. Um, which is that it's a plus for men and you would, men who go over there from America would be the main breadwinner over there. Now I'm not saying all of them, all the women in those countries are poor and stuff, but I'm just saying that um, the American values is, is a lot higher in those countries. So that's a plus for American men to go over there and, and find a wife or somebody like that. Um, but if you're gonna stay in this country, and you're going to stay in America. I mean, there's options out there, but you can you, you can go find somebody here. Um, it just is going to be difficult, man. It, it's going to be difficult. It's like going fishing and, and you want to catch a particular fish in, in the water. You're going to have to, it's going to take some time. It's going to take a lot of digging. Um, so it's, it's not it's not impossible to find somebody here. Um, in America, depending on where you live, Florida, I would, I wouldn't prefer Miami. I'm telling you this right now. Don't go to Miami trying to find somebody, because Miami is is not is not it. Miami, those girls are addicted to money. They serving money. They love money. They would take your money. I'm telling you, they, uh, they try to get you to go on an expensive date with them. Oh, you got to take me to this restaurant and spend about two hundred dollars on me or three hundred dollars or five hundred dollars on me and they take your money and you know what the next day they don't care they'll be with the next man they don't really care a lot of women don't really care so in miami i wouldn't suggest you go there to find love i suggest you go somewhere else maybe somewhere up north maybe somewhere in the middle um they go find somebody there but you're gonna you're gonna be doing a lot of searching a lot of searching because majority of the women in here in America are becoming single moms, and um, uh, it's it's starting to get it's starting to get like that. A lot of them, man, it's like y'all you have higher chances on running into a single mom 
than you do with running into uh, a woman that don't have any kids. You, the probability is a lot higher and stuff. So, and you know, it's crazy too because it's like every time I'm going about my business, going grocery shopping, bro, it's like always single moms in the grocery stores. Like they have their kids running around screaming and yelling and, you know, just <laughs> crazy, man. Um, no father around. No father around whatsoever. Um, so, you're going to go... Going overseas is not a bad idea. It's, it's really not. Um, you can go overseas. You can have a good time. Man, just know you got a lot of options. A lot of options. Like, there's lots of options out there for you. You don't have to be you don't have to be a stepfather to, to somebody there's lots of options you want to go have fun and you, you know in your life you want to you can go overseas you can go mess with somebody overseas and come back into america and then go back or whatever just don't do nothing stupid uh just don't do nothing dumb just you know just keep it keep it clean keep everything clean just enjoy your fun um i don't see um, any woman here in America trying to settle down no time soon. So if they're not settling down, man, you shouldn't settle down either. So you have plenty of options out there. Um, wherever country you want to go to, whatever you want to do, man, just know that you got options, man. Don't, um, you know, for those that like are kind of like single like me, but you know, don't worry too much about um, if you're going to find somebody and stuff. I don't really care too much. Like, you know, everybody, it, there's going to be somebody for everybody. I mean, it's not going to happen now. It's not going to happen on your time. It's going to happen on God's time. Man. Um, so if you're going to find somebody, trust me, there's always somebody out there. But you're going to do a lot of searching um, in in America if you are trying to find a wife, an actual um or a virgin, whatever, which is, I see that's being impossible because most women have high body count stuff in America. So good luck with that. Um, but you're going to do a lot of searching and I highly, and I suggest not to use no, don't use no dating apps. I'm going to make another video talking about that though. Um, in my experience with that, um, dating apps. So I'm gonna make that into another video, but my thoughts on the passport bros is you going to do it just do it um do it safe and always watch always be careful who you spending your time with out there because it's the world is getting real crazy and crazy right now though but if you can find somebody here in the states you know go find somebody and props to you you know get married whatever you want but it's Man, it's wherever you want. You want to stay single, stay single. You can you do what you want. You want to be married. You want to be tied down. That's cool. At the same time, hey, it's, it's, it's up to you. So whatever you want. But that's my thoughts on the Passport Bro movement. Hey, listen, if y'all um, not subscribed to my channel, y'all just watch my video, man. Y'all not, you're not going to get everything. You're not going to get all the game that comes with just following me and stuff because there's going to be more videos coming out. I'm just here to just educate brothers, educate young brothers or educate people, even you know, women and stuff or just helping them out, just giving them advice and giving them some motivation, some inspiration for the day and stuff. That's what all my channel is, is about. It's not just always going to be about doing reaction videos and stuff. I also do, you know, I also talk about lots of stuff. I got, you know, some of the old videos I'm talking about addiction and stuff like that. So, you know, I want to see everybody grow. I want to see everybody prosper. I want to see everybody find a loved one, and, you know, find a, their future, what they call soulmate, whatever. So if y'all not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that like button too. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate the, the support I give. I appreciate the positive comments. Um, I see it all the time, positive comments. I don't really too care too much about the negativity. The negative comments because that's going to come anyways i don't really care but i think that's motivation for me and that's more views for me so um but appreciate y'all man and um thank y'all for 
you know, listening. Make sure that y'all listen the whole video. Do not watch my video like a 20 minute video and watch two two minutes of it. Watch the whole video so you can get the full context of what I'm talking about. I appreciate y'all, man, and y'all have a blessed day today. Peace.